Good morning, it's uh, Christmas Eve, it's six in the morning. I'm here in front of the Sydney Opera House. Uh, there's no wind right now, so I'm gonna hang out here and wait for it to get windy, hopefully, in a little bit. And uh, launch some kites and take some pictures. Thanks for watching. As always, before I get started, please take the time to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It really helps me to build the channel if you subscribe to it, and of course like this video if you enjoy it. So as I mentioned in my previous video, back in December of 2012 and January of 2013, I traveled to Australia to create some kite aerial photographs. Australia was a place that I had wanted to go since I was a little kid, and I was really excited and thankful to be going there at such an early point in my career to create my artwork. The first place I went in my travels through Australia was of course Sydney because that's where we landed when flying from Los Angeles. <laughs> Good morning. It's Sunday the 23rd and we made it. Right? Yep, we're here in Sydney. And Somehow we bypassed the whole entire day flying. Yeah, Saturday didn't exist. <laughs> Nothing. And we're here. Go outside. That's outside. We'll see you soon. Peace. And the main place that I wanted to photograph in Sydney was the Sydney Opera House with the Sydney Harbour Bridge behind it. And I figured using my kite to lift the camera up into the air, I could take a really unique photograph of this area that would be impossible to take any other way. So I scouted out the area around the Opera House a day or two before and found this floating dock right next to the Opera House. Can you tell us uh, what you're standing on as a platform to launch from today? Uh, we're standing on the... Um, I'm standing on the Man o War steps. And I figured that if the wind were blowing off the water here, it would carry my kite up into a really great position to take the photograph that I had imagined. So Evan, what are you up to, man? I was checking the field of view in the camera to shoot the Opera House. So I want to get the Opera House with uh, the Harbor Bridge behind it. So I checked the wind and weather reports, and as it turns out, the very next day, which just happened to be Christmas Eve, the wind and weather was supposed to be ideal to take the photograph. And I wanted to photograph here first thing in the morning for a couple reasons. Most importantly, that the sun would be in the right position. And second to that is this area is such a popular destination for people visiting Sydney and even people who live in the city there that it becomes very crowded with people throughout most of the day. And in order to avoid crowds in the picture and also give myself enough room to launch the kite and move around as I needed to, I figured that photographing early in the morning before people get up and go out for the day would be the best thing to do. Good morning, it's... Uh... Christmas Eve, it's six in the morning. I'm here in front of the Sydney Opera House. The wind was really gentle that morning, so I had planned to use my low wind kite, which at the time was this fled kite. We're gonna set up the kite and see uh, if we can get it up in the air. The wind's a little light, but hopefully we can get it up there where the wind's a little stronger. However, in the process of setting up the kite, one of the kite spars broke, and because of this, the kite became unusable. One of the uh, Kite spars broke on the flood kite. So I'm gonna go to a kite shop here in Sydney and hopefully get a replacement part. And I saw on the website they actually sell floods. So hopefully maybe we can get a replacement flood kite today. And as I was packing up the flood kite and getting all of my gear back together to leave and return another day to take the photograph, all of a sudden the wind picked up. So what's up now, man? Well, as we were packing up, we started to put the kite away and it started to lift up in the air, so I reconnected the kite line and now it's flying. So half a mile an hour of wind makes a big difference. We got the kite up there to lift up with it. I'd like it to be a little bit higher. Our angle looks pretty good. Um, just trying to get some more altitude on it. The wind is a little bit light, but it's slowly getting higher. Well, I moved over to a different dock here to get a little bit closer to the Opera House. The wind's still a little light, um, so it's still a little tricky keeping it up where I want it. Well, I've been flying for almost an hour now. Uh, I'm going to reel the kite in, take the camera off, take a look at some of the pictures I took, and uh, hopefully we got something good in there, something worth keeping, and uh, then we'll pack it up and head to the next spot. 
And I just love how everything lined up perfectly in this photograph. You can see the Sydney Opera House with its iconic architecture, and then the Harbour Bridge behind it. You can clearly see one of these ferry boats because they are such an iconic part of the Sydney Harbour. I repeat, this vessel will be going to Double Bay, Rose Bay, and Watson's Bay. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have gained a little bit of insight into what went into creating this photograph. Please remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see other videos. You can also follow me on Instagram or Facebook and see all of my work on my website. Thank you for watching.